Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own icons to your own theme. Uh, there will be a link in the description for Make Your Own Theme Part 1 over there. So uh, just watch that and then come back to this video in that one. Um, I showed you how to make your own background and your own uh, well, stock. So, uh, watch that then come back to this video uh, I, know been, I know it took me a while to make this video I just I don't have the time all the time I've been making short videos if you haven't noticed lately so just go with that and uh, just watch that please subscribe okay guys first things first uh, click the subscribe button like I have on the bottom of my screen here my screen recording like Cam Max, so just click the subscribe button. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to mymy.com. This is an alternative. This isn't making your own. It's kind of like downloading other people's. Uh, these are a lot more detailed, obviously, but uh, they do help. So you can go to mymy.com, make an account there, go to downloads, go to iPhone themes and go to icons only and you will find this page and here you can uh, you can download icons if you have an account you must have an account so uh, you're going to find an image on google i just searched the diamond and you're going to save that and open it up in paint shop pro if you don't know how to you don't know how to get paint shop pro uh... visit my video I will have in the description for Make Your Own Theme Part 1. And there will be a link in the description on Make Your Own Theme Part 1 on how to get this. So you're going to cut out your image with the Smart Edge tool. Uh, just You should learn how to use that. That is a really um, useful tool. Photoshop does not have this. You need PaintShop Pro for this. And you're going to, once that's cut out and it's got the little uh, it's got the little, whatever you call it, like the blinking lines, you're going to right click like that. Once it has those lines, you're going to right click copy, and then you're going to right click paste as new image. Okay, and then it's going to come up with this. Right here, once this is up, you're going to um, image, image, resize, and you're going to do 60 by 60 in pixels. 60 by 60, guys and do not lock the aspect ratio you do not need that so then you're going to file save as let's do a thousand thousand facts um you do need to name the icon as it shows up on your springboard not as the actual uh, application name however it shows up on your springboard you must name it that and it must be a PNG portable network graphics file that PNG so you're going to save that in wherever you want uh, actually you're going to create a new folder and you're going to name it icons with a capital I icons Apple I C O N S. So icons. Enter. You're going to enter that folder. And you're going to save it in there. Now, after you've done that, you're going to SSH in your iPod Touch. Just to make this video faster. Uh, I've already done that. You're going to click the little slash folder, and you can pause this video at any time. Uh, this would normally take about 10 minutes or so. So just to make the video faster, I'm doing this. And go to library, go to themes, go to your theme, as you saw in the other video. Uh, I already made this a past video. So now you're going to find your icons folder down here. You're going to click and drag. So now that it's in there, now you're going to go to your iPod. I'm connected via VNC. Uh, I will have a video on the 
this soon. We're going to go to Winterboard. Obviously, your Winterboard is going to look a little different. Uh, and you're going to select my theme, or how, whatever you named your theme as in the last video. I'm just going to um, respring. So just let it respring for a second. see uh the where is it oh whoops, sorry guys uh, let me change this really quick sorry guys there's supposed to be 3,000 facts I do have a different font for this so let me just respring I think they added a new thing to winterboard for even if you no, okay. So let's just go to boss press. Takes a minute for it to load. Go to power. Go to respring and lock. Very sorry for that, guys. Uh, just make sure you name it exactly, even with capitals, as it is on your springboard, not the actual app name. Okay, you must name it as the actual app name. So, hmm, the connection is refusing. One sec, guys. Hmm. All right, let's go to I Tunnel VNC. Apparently, uh, let's quit running for some reason. Okay, so as you can see, it did change to that diamond that I had cut out. Uh, if you chose a different icon, it should have popped up. Um, I just chose the 3000 facts. So um, you can keep adding icons to that same icons folder. And eventually, it'll end up like my thing that I showed you before I respring. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please subscribe. Subscribe, guys.